Greetings Internet, DDA here with another Top Cut match video from the North Kai videos of uh, this year's tournament in Rockford, Illinois. So we have here a match between Ryan Lewis and Arvel Rowe. Uh, so I think uh, Ryan was actually playing Piccolo and Umeki and Dex. He was playing mirror matches all, all day that day. I'm not sure how many Ginyu he played. But, you know, both player both players got to this point. They fought to get in the top four. So this, this is definitely going to be an exciting match either way. So let's get started. So Arvel's actually going to start out first here, winning the roll, dropping his uh, his black power up. Black Ginyu versus Piccolo Namekian, top four, round one. And uh, I think he's actually, yes, he's going to declare combat. Ryan seems actually a little puzzled by that, which uh, I'm unsure why. Because when you have, when you start off, when you can start off with Ginyu's power, pulling an ally, giving you instant card advantage first turn. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. He's dropping the freeze, a great pull against Namekian. And, you know, Ryan kind of started taking the damage before Orville actually got the ally. So... You know, he was probably going to get Frieza either way, but, you know, Ryan's showing that he was going to, he didn't have blocks, he was going to take the damage, really sealed that choice for him. The damage was automatically just going to be gone, and really, it just really limits uh, Namekian's ability to be able to rejuve cards and, uh, and actually gain anger. So it looks like Ryan has ball six in his hand. As well as a pressure technique. I can't see the third card. Is that a hurried quest? This is something that Ryan was actually complaining of the whole day. He's going to shoot off the, the pressure technique. So I'm not sure if that's actually a good idea against a Ginyu deck. You know, it's going to knock him to one above zero. It's going to limit his energy, uh, you know, the stages he has to perform energies. But he does have Frieza in play. And him being one above zero means any other allies that he would bring out, he'd be able to use. So he's going to, uh, Arvel's going to shoot off the overpowering attack. Obviously, the whole reason he entered, you know, he, he had not only his power, but overpowering attack in his hand. To get two allies in play, grabbing the birder. He really wants to stage lock Ryan. That was the goal with grabbing Birda. Jace was also a very good choice. He was one above zero. He could have used Jace's ability as well. But he wanted to grab the Birda so that Ryan could not respond with an energy attack. So Ryan only has one stage. He's going to shoot off his power, gain the anger by rejuvenating the pressure technique. Do some chip damage. That's, hey, it's removed. That's good. He removed that spear. I pass. So Arvel, di Arvel did uh, did what he wanted to do. He got two allies out, did some damage. He's going to pass. Ryan's going to drop that hurried quest from his hand. He was complaining all day that day. Oh, you know. Dropping the ball for a spectacular card to draw in this matchup. Now, it looks like Ryan only actually raised three stages there, which is a pretty big mistake, because one of the two best things you get when you play Ball 6 is not only do they do less stage damage, but you also gain PUR. And PUR is extremely important in this game, you know, especially in an energy-based deck like Piccolo Namekian. You know, Arvel just putting a lot of pressure on Ryan, revealing his wall breaker to the world. Starting with wall breaker, you know, instantly wanting to just lock him out of the anger gain. So Ryan remembers half of the Dragon Ball. He does remember that it, it reduces his stage damage by two. But he would have stages right now if if he would have remembered that it he also has six PUR. This one right here? No. <laughs> Wall breaker going to be very difficult for Ryan to get that off of him. He does play, I think, two or three focus assaults. Oh, what a great draw here. He actually only plays one of these, Energetic Left Blast. Killing the Frieza, very good choice there over Birda. He does have ball six to combat Birda in play. And Frieza is just going to not only limit his, you know, rejuvenation, limit the choices he has for cards like Visiting the Past and Ball 7, as well as removing his weighted clothing, which is one of the biggest things that make Piccolo be able to go off. You know, Arvel just had just enough stages to do his energy attack, his power, pulling the Jace, 
Really trying to put lots and lots of pressure. Ryan has wall breaker on him right now. He doesn't know how long that wall breaker is going to stay on him, so he really just wants to do as much damage as he can before Ryan can get to the level 2 and start critting his allies from the field. Looking back on uh, on these matches, I'm not sure, again. I'm not sure how many um, I'm not sure how many Ginyu decks Ryan played that day, but in retrospect, you know, uh, Namekian doesn't really have that many cards to combat allies. Energetic Left Blast was a great choice that we added in at the last minute. Um, I think it probably would have been valuable for him to play more than one of those. Marvel. It looks like he has a withering fire in his hand right now, and he does still have Jace's energy. He's going to shoot off Jace's energy, gain himself an anger. All right, Ryan's going to stop that. It did, did do five life cards, so good choice there. It did, it did a decent amount of damage. It's really sad that he has that wall breaker on him now, limiting his anger gain. Yep, let's, let's uh, call attention to that wall breaker. Yes, it is on him. <laughs> I think Ryan might have forgotten that for a second. <laughs> Arvel doing his mastery, really good play here. You know, removing the the energetic left blast in Ryan's discard pile. He only plays one of those, so I'm sure that Ryan would have been would have liked to have been able to keep playing that over and over again and manipulated that from his discard pile. But it's gone now. Sad day. So Ryan making a really hard choice here. He drops ball three from his hand. He actually keeps the double strike. Withering fire. Not really a, a good card against Mechian, but damage nonetheless. And that's Arvel's goal right now. He's just trying to just do as much damage as he can. Classic, you know, Ginyu style. Beat down the opponent, bum rush. So Ryan kept the double strike in his hand. He's really hoping, you know, he, he knows he needs to clear the field of allies. That's Ginyu's, that's Ginyu's claim to fame. It's, it's, it's how Ginyu wins. He has a lot of stages to play with right now. He just keeps throwing the energy attacks at, you know, shooting another black energy, another energy attack, black energy web, doing lots of damage with this one. Two combats have passed. It looks like Ryan's about at ha at the halfway point. He's uh, you know, half his life deck is gone. You know, Arvo over there, he he's barely even hurt. He look he, he doesn't even look like he's had much damage. I mean, the goal here for Ryan is not to do damage; it's to level, which is why that wall breaker is hurting him so much. Only gonna go up three stages again. Another mistake. It, it's just he really needed. He was get he's getting stage locked against uh against Arvo right now. He would have preferred to play that double strike in his hand if he had the stages, but so he's gonna rejuvenate, rejuvenate the onslaught, keep the double strike in his hand. So you got a swirl over there. Is that another withering fire? So it looks like Arvo's looking for a target for swirl, you know. Um, you have to name a card, and it is random. It can be really useful when the opponent has something like Visiting the Past or Ball 7 and has stacked his top, where you can guarantee what card you name. But, you know, right now he's looking for a good target. You know, look at the most, the highest chance. You know, only one copy that he has, so he'll have two copies left in his deck. So I'll have a fairly decent high chance to draw that card in his hand. He stopped on double strike there. He thought about naming that. Might have been a good call uh, because he does. Ryan has been holding one in his hand for some time now. Uh, 
Now you can you can tell that Ar Arvel's gonna start combat here, and you know he's he's started combat every single turn that he's went since the first turn of the game. Uh, just very aggressive, just beating down the opponent, not giving it, not giving the Namekian deck any time to set up, play Dragon Balls, you know, just really just pressuring him. Right, so he's going to go into combat. Ryan's going to draw his three cards. Draw into there. It looks like he has the double strike and he also has wall breaker of visiting the past. So he's going to start off with Swirl and name Namekian Stance, which is not a bad call. He only had one in his discard pile. And, you know, Arvo plays a lot of energy attacks, so... He just wants to, you know, seal at home, name a name a block, so that way that if he if Ryan did draw into one of those, it would be a dead card and he would just be able to seal the game right here. Doesn't look like he raised two anger from that. So shoot off that double strike that he's been holding. You know, really it, I wish that he remembered those stages from ball six. He would have stages still left to do maybe another energy attack. But he's going to crit the Jace, get rid of, uh, you know, some damage that uh, Arvel has on the field, really reduce it. Blocking it with Swipe, really good play here, you know, and you can, and I want to just note to everyone what he chooses here to remove. So the first pick, time, great choice, you know, stops everything, and then the two Namekian energy guards. Energy blocks so that... Those are energy blocks that not only replace themselves in your deck, but also add give you an extra card. They really, you know, elongate the time that you're able to spend in the game. Shooting off black power up just to raise the full, give himself some stages. He knows he's not going to need to enter combat. He's at a severe advantage right now. He has wall breaker on him, locked at zero. So Dev Blow, great play here by Ryan. Uh, you know, after you discard a few of Ginyu's allies with crits or with other effects, you absolutely want to remove them from the game as fast as possible. Once Ginyu hits on his two, he's able to just play those allies freely from the discard pile. So Dev Blow not going to do that much damage. I think it does just do one stage. Yes, just just one stage, but that's not the point of Dev Blow. Really, removing those allies was the big factor there. So the whole reason uh, Arvel did black power up is so he can shoot off his power, um, you know, do that extra attack, get Goldo in play. Not really looking very good for Ryan right now. Looks like he has maybe maybe 15 cards left in his life deck. Not, you know, it's it's coming down on the wire. He's still level 1, stage locked. Going to shoot off the wall breaker. I'm not sure if this was a good play on his part, you know, wall breaker. Doesn't do anything against Ginyu that much, and he's gonna block it with Goldo. Respond with a Withering Fire for lots of damage. Ryan laughing almost comical at this point. He realized what he did. And for anyone wondering out there, you know, um, he could use Goldo because of his level one power. Obviously, he hit it. No reason to choose Birder, so. Goldo. He was able to use when he's above one above zero, adding adding four damage to that withering fire. You've done everything in your hand and you've used every power. Looks like about seven cards left in Ryan's deck. Pro all, all Dragon Balls, pretty much. <laughs> Let's see, one Dragon Ball, two, three Dragon Balls. Obviously, you know, one more damage would have been, one or two more damage would have been the game right there. But, you know, giving Namekian that, that, you know, shred of, uh, shed of light, shred of hope.
So again, I think, he, yes, he does have six in his hand again. So I think every turn uh, Ryan has gone, he's had ball six, and he's misplayed by only gaining three stages. Folks, out there, ball six, the ultimate card to prevent stage locking. It gives you PUR, and it reduces stage damage against you. Don't forget that. So he's going to play down ball seven, mill three cards, and here's where those three cards that uh, that Alvaro will remove with swipe play such an integral an integral role because he doesn't have time to choose uh, in his uh, discard pile right now. The next best choice for blocks, I mean, he ha he barely has cards left, Ryan, in his life deck. He pretty much only has Dragon Balls, and he really wished that he could, you know, use Energy Guard a few times. He's only level one, so even hybrid defense would give him less cards than energy guard would. So getting off the uh, choosing the Mechian stance, uh, not a bad pull. I probably would have chose hybrid defense myself. Just, just to try to put cards back into my life deck at this point. Possibly an Onslaught or Double Strike as well um, to try to crit away Goldo, maybe do some damage, and um, may, you know Onslaught just for the simple fact, again, putting cards back into your life deck. He needs to try to survive. He does choose Sphere here. I'm not sure what, what uh, combat event, what event he's afraid of um, that you know Arvel might play against him. Visiting the past, great card at this point. Um, you know, he's got his full deck in his discard pile to choose from, so lots of options. <laughs> so, large favor here uh, on Captain Ginyu's side. Um, Ryan only has seven cards left in his life deck. Three of those he just put on top with ball seven. No, this is the first round top four. So Arvel knows that he has three, you know, he has three usable cards in combat right now. Um, so there's really no reason for him to enter. He's going to pass and rejuve. No reason for him to enter. You know, Ryan has to enter. He doesn't have a choice. He only has four life cards in his life deck. Um, and, you know, Arvel has a severe advantage in that regard. No reason to put himself in a bad position where he could possibly let Ryan then go after entering and play seven again. Top eight on <laughs> Plus, the visiting the past was also in play. It would give Ryan equal card advantage, full reign over his discard pile to pick something into his hand. Now Ryan's in a position where he has to enter on Arvel. There's no there's no option here. You know, otherwise he's going to be entered on with a single life card left in his, in his deck. Um, he has visiting, but he, now he must use visiting and lose a card in his hand. Ryan, seeing his demise before him, is unsure what he should do. You know, should he use visiting the past? Should he not? Uh, I don't know what the right answer. He, he could try to save it until next turn if he could possibly, maybe somehow survive this combat. Um, I just don't feel like he has enough blocks in his hand to do so. I know he has one energy block, but that's it. So, in my opinion here, I'd go for the hurried quest because uh, it's pretty much his only option. It's his only chance to win it all uh, is by using seven over and over again playing enough defense from his hand and using seven with hurried quest multiple times he is thinking about it. he pull he uh, is he gonna pull the hurry quest oh, he, he got close he was gonna pull it out there oh he is he's deciding on hurry quest a good pull it's his only choice really he has no other option he has to put cards back into his life deck 
Dave, you want to smoke? Yeah, I was going to say, I would go smoke, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Starting off with hurried quests. So, um, at some point in time, I'm sure I got Sure. Not a bad idea here, uh, you know, because it gives him some cards in his hand. So if uh, if Arvor responded with his mastery, he could he could discard one of those Dragon Balls rather than one of his valuable cards. Tell Cold. You should. I'm head judge. You're head judge, but this is my best friend. That's why you shouldn't be there. You have a vested interest. I don't. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan did spend all day complaining about how he played three of these in his deck, and you know, I, it was a discussion we had before. Uh, you know, should you play three? Should you play two? I had this discussion a lot with him. I was under the, um, you know, the side of that you should be playing two of these and not three. But he did play a lot of mirrors that day. I don't think it was a bad choice. And you know, they do remove themselves from the game after you, so using them once does, uh, you know, make them go away. So Arvel's going to shoot off his power. No allies fail to search. And, you know, he has no allies left in that deck. So Ryan's just going to check his deck to make sure that that is the case. Not that he wants an ally in play, but he wants to see what's left in his deck, which is a lot of nasty stuff. <laughs> the wall breaker on, on Ryan right now is really just sealing this game for him. Ryan doesn't play his deck in a way that allows him to get off wall breaker very easily. He only plays focus assaults for that. Most of his deck outside of that is just defense and ball manipulation. So he's going to block it with the stance, prevent some uh, critical damage against him. So I think Ryan did his power there, but then uh, so Arvo's gonna shoot off an overpowering attack, do lots of damage, kill all the cards that Ryan had just placed on top. Ryan's going to pass, and as a result, so is Arvel dropping his Nappa that he had in his hand. Oh, ball seven. And there's there's where it gets sealed, folks. Not not that it wasn't over before, but... You know, Ryan was holding ball seven in his hand. Uh, now with uh, Arvel dropping his own ball seven, Ryan just doesn't have a chance to put any cards back into his life deck. As soon as it hits the field, it's going to be removed. Yeah, he's gonna go in. There's no reason for him not to. He knows that most of the cards he has left are just balls. Shoot off his power. Just be aggressive. Hey, if this attack hits you, it's pretty much done, and it's it's gonna hit him. There's a sphere. Two cards left in his life deck. All balls in his hand. Sealed by Arvel Row, 1-0 starting in the top four. You know, a really good match between these these two uh, these two veteran players of the game. Uh, what Ryan did wrong there, uh, maybe could have helped him out. Uh, Arvel was stage locking him a lot in that game, and ball six is the perfect answer for that. And Ryan kept ball six out for most of the game. You know, drawing it. I think he dropped it first turn. And then he had it out second turn. He double-striked it back into his deck, but then he drew it again on his third turn. So every turn that Ryan had, he had that ball six, and he had that stage that that uh, those extra stages. But he just didn't he didn't remember that his PUR was increased. You know, Piccolo has a six PUR on level one with that ball in play. I'm not sure if that would have uh, caused him, you know, the game to be that much massively different, but it definitely would have reduced a lot of damage that Arvel did to him. It definitely would have given him the stages to be able to do some extra energy attacks in his hand. Um, the double strike that he was holding, maybe he was he would have been able to use that to kill to kill Jace at an earlier time. So uh, good match overall, you know, uh, just Arvel putting a lot of pressure on Ryan and really just like uh, putting him in a lock with Wallbreaker and sealing the game.